everyone, today I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful sweater dress. I love it so much, it's super comfy and easy to make. If you know how to knit and to cast on and cast off, you're good to go. And the yarn is does most of the work for you. Okay, you just know how to knit, that's it. Super easy. And I will show you what yarn that I use in a minute, okay? This is ice yarn. Anyways. This is super easy and I have free written pattern for sizes extra small go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcurladdict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I used two colors of ice yarn. This is gonna be my color A, pink color. This is ice yarn. Bonny bone, number four medium weight yarn. Okay, in each ball is have 175 meter. It is about 191 yards. So for color A, I use three balls. It is about 570 yards that I use for color A. And this kind of yarn they sell by pack. In one pack is come with three of these balls. And here is gonna be my color B gray color same brand same yarn just different color and for color B I use about 130 yards so one ball will be enough for color B and you can substitute yarn as well but keep that in mind your project will look different because this is very unique yarn and the yarn does most of the work for you to have a beautiful sweater dress okay and I gonna put all the links to the material details in the description below and they have a lot of the color of this kind of yarn it's so beautiful definitely need to check it out all right and we also need a pair of knitting needle this is us 11 8 millimeter this is circular needle 24 inches we can gonna knit in rows but I prefer circular needle that's what I like and if you prefer a straight needles you can use that as well and then scissors yarn needle and four stitch markers before we start i want to talk about this pattern a little bit so the back and the front panels make exactly the same and two sleeve make exactly the same and for this sweater we can knit every single row which is the garter stitch very very easy and after we done with two panels here we're gonna put them like this and then we're gonna sew the shoulder seam the back and the front panel together and then leave some space open for the neck hole and then when we're done with the sleeve we're gonna put them like this and then we're gonna sew the sleeve into the main panel and then after that we're gonna fold the sweater in half at the shoulder seam and we're gonna cut a new strand of yarn and then sew the side seam and then sleep together okay I'm gonna show you step by step this is just some idea and the measurement for this sweater is 21.81 inches with a cloth and in the length 28.94 inches okay for this sweater it's fairly easy to adjust the sizes so the measurement is just for size small and I'm gonna show you in size small for this tutorial and let's get started. Okay, for this project, I'm gonna use long tail cast on and you can use any kind of cast on you prefer. If you don't know how to make long tail cast on, I have video tutorial for that as well. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. So make sure you have enough tail to make a long tail cast on. All right, and then after that, make slip knot, and then insert the needle into that knot, and that count as the first stitch. And then I gonna cast on sixty stitches. So here's one, here's two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, I'm gonna keep cast on until I have 60 stitches. Make sure I don't cast on too tight or too loose. 
All right, and then the number of the caisson stitches will be the width across for the sweater. All right, I will be back when I have 60 stitches. Okay, now I have 60 stitches here. And basically, we're just going to make garter stitch, which is knit every single row. I'm going to show you a couple rows here. So I turn my work, and then I'm going to knit every stitches. So I'm going to knit the first stitch, and then knit the next stitch, and then knit the next stitch. And just keep knitting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep knitting every stitches across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row 1. I'm at the end of row 1 here. And I have the same 60 stitches across because we not increase or decrease. And row 2, we're going to do the same. We're going to knit every stitches across. So I need the first stitch and then knit the next stitch and knit the next stitch and knit the next stitch. Okay, I'm going to keep knitting and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 2. I'm at the end of row 2 here and I have the same 60 stitches across and for row 3 we turn and then we're gonna do the same we're gonna knit every stitches across very easy pattern so yeah we're gonna keep knitting until we have 122 rows if you want shorter sweater make less row if you want Longer sweater, make more rows. Just keep knitting every single row. Like I said, got a stitch. All right, I'm going to keep knitting until I have 122 rows and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I have 122 rows. Next, we're going to bite off on row 123. So I turn my work and then I'm going to knit the first two stitches. So, knit the first stitch, and then knit the next stitch, and then I'm going to use my left needle to pick up the first stitch that we knit, the inside stitch there, pick up, up and over the outside stitch like that. That's how we bite off, okay? And then I'm going to knit the next stitch, and then I'm going to repeat. I'm going to use my left needle, pick up the inside stitch, up and over the outside stitch, like that. And then we're going to repeat that across. So I knit the next stitch, and then pick up the inside stitch, over the outside stitch, like that. And then knit the next stitch, and then put uh, the inside stitch, up and over outside stitch. Repeat that across. Make sure don't bite off too tight. All right, not too tight or not too loose. Okay, now I have one stitch left. I'm just going to do the same. All right. And then we're going to cut the yarn and leave a long tail about 18 to 20 inches. Okay, we're going to use this tail to sew the shoulder seam, the back and the front panel together. And then after we cut the yarn, leave a long tail, we're going to pull the yarn out. Like that, and then we're done with the body panel. And you need one more panel just like this, exactly the same. Leave a long tail, exactly the same. Like I said, the front and the back panel make the same. Okay, and after you have two body panels, next we're gonna make the sleeves. So for the sleeve, 
we're gonna make two exactly the same and we're gonna use two colors and if you prefer this one color totally fine and the row that we make gonna be the length of the sleeve if you prefer shorter sleeve make less row and if you prefer longer sleeve make more rows and i have 46 rows of my color b here and then i have 10 rows of my color a all right and then after i have 46 rows of color b when i cut the color b i also leave a long tail as well because i'm gonna use that long tail of color b to sew up the color b section of the sleeve all right and then at the end of color a here i also leave a long tail as well so we're gonna use that tail to sew the sleeve into the main panel okay i'm gonna use long tail cast on again make sure to have enough tail to make a long tail cast on and i'm gonna start with color b and i make slip knot and then insert my needle into that slip knot so that slip knot count at first stitch and i'm gonna cast on 45 stitches here's two three four five and make sure i don't cast on too tight or too loose and the number of the cast on stitches will be the circumference of the sleeve all right i will be back when i have 45 stitches okay now i have 45 stitches here and we are just gonna knit every row which is the garter stitch all right and Row one, I gonna turn my work, and then I gonna knit every stitches. So I gonna knit the first stitch here. Knit the next stitch. Oops, sorry. Okay, <laughs> and then knit the next stitch. And knit the next stitch. All right, I'm gonna keep knitting a cloth, and I will be back when I'm at the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one here, and I have the same 45 stitches because we're not increase or decrease. And like I said, we're gonna knit every row. So I'm gonna show you one more row here so we turn our work and then we're gonna knit the first stitch here and then knit the next stitch and knit the next stitch and knit the next stitch and knit the next stitch all right we're gonna keep knitting a cloth and i will be back when i'm at the end of row two i'm at the end of row two here and have the same 45 stitches so like i said we're gonna knit every rows so i gonna knit until i reach the end of row 46 with color b and then row 47 to row 56 i gonna use color a and we're gonna bite off at row 57 okay if you know how to chain color go ahead and do that and if you don't know how to chain color you can come back and i will show you how to chain color as well all right so i'm gonna keep knitting with color b until i have 46 rows and i will be back when i'm at the end of row 46 okay now i reach the end of row 46 here and then for row 47 we gonna chain color to color a so i gonna turn my work and then i gonna bring the color b here and then create a loop just like that and then we gonna knit the first stitch there with color a so I insert my needle into the first stitch and then grab a color A there and then bring it up like we always do, okay? And then I'm gonna knit the next stitch.
and then knit the next stitch. And then we're just gonna knit every stitches across with color A, no more color B. And now I just gonna cut the color B here. And I'm gonna leave a long tail about 18 to 20 inches long because we're gonna use this tail to sew the color B section of the sleeve here. So yeah, around 18 to 20 inches. And then cut the yarn. And then I'm gonna wrap my yarn here. And I use the my hair tie to tie this tail so it's not on the way when I knit. And then go back to knitting. So, like I said, for row 47 to row 56, I gonna knit with color A, okay? Which is the garter stitch. Just knit every rows. If you want a longer sleeve, feel free to add more rows. For me, I'm gonna make 10 rows of color A here, which is row 47 to row 56, and then I will be back. I'm at the end of row 56 here, and next row 57, we're gonna bite off, so turn your work, and then we're gonna bite off, we're gonna knit the first two stitches. So knit the first stitch. And then knit the next stitch. And then use your left needle to pick up the first stitch that you knit up and over the second stitch there. And then we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna knit the next stitch. And then pick up the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch. Like that. And repeat that. Knit the next stitch. Pick up the inside stitch over the outside stitch like that. Okay, we're gonna repeat this across and make sure don't uh, buy off too tight or too loose. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this across. Okay, now I have one stitch left. I'm gonna do the same. Just bite off the last stitch there. And then next, we're gonna cut the yarn. And I'm gonna leave a long tail about 30 to 40 inches long. Make sure that you have enough tail to sew the sleeve into the main panel, okay? After I cut the yarn, I put the yarn out. And we're done with the sleeve and you need two sleeves exactly the same. Leave a long tail exactly the same. All right. And then after you have two sleeves and then two body panels, we're going to sew all the pieces together. Okay. To sew the pieces together, you're going to choose whichever the side that you want to be the wrong side facing up. And then we're gonna sew on the wrong side, okay? And it doesn't matter which side that you choose because it's garter stitch, it looks the same. And I have 20 stitches on this shoulder that I'm gonna sew the front and the back panel together. And then I do the same on this shoulder, 20 stitches. And I have 20 stitches open for the neck hole. And here's my sleeve, and here is the other sleeve. We're gonna talk about this sleeve later, okay? And if you want, a uh, bigger neck hole, you can sew less stitches. And if you want smaller neck hole, you're gonna sew more stitches at the shoulder seams. All right, but make sure both shoulder seams sew exactly the same. And I'm gonna use the yarn needle and then the tail that I left earlier to sew. All right, let's start. So I have my tail come from the front panel here. And it doesn't matter which panel you choose to be the front or the back because they are the same. And then I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the back panel there. And then I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the front panel and then first stitch on the back panel one more time just to lock the yarn. Okay, and then I'm gonna insert my needle into the next stitch here on the front panel. 
and then next stitch there on the back panel and bring it up and you can use any method you prefer to sew I just gonna sew back and forth I insert my needle into the next stitch on the front panel here and then next stitch on the back panel there this kind of yarn is a little difficult to see these stitches so be careful take your time okay and make sure don't sew too tight or too loose and then I'm gonna insert my needle into the next stitch on the front panel here and the next stitch on the back panel there and bring it up and then I'm gonna sew the next stitch so I insert my needle into the next stitch here and then next stitch there and bring it up that's what I'm gonna keep sewing And here's what it looks like so far. This is on the wrong side and here is the right side. And I'm gonna keep sewing until I reach the blue stitch marker here which is 20 stitches. And then after that I'm gonna sew the other shoulder exactly the same. Use the long tail that we left earlier to sew. Alright and then after that I will be back. Good luck and take your time. Okay after you have both shoulder sewn here's what it's gonna look like and then next we're gonna sew the sleeve and I already went ahead and sew one sleeve here and I'm gonna show you how to sew the sleeve on this side and I'm just gonna turn the side again you can choose whichever side you wanna be the wrong side and we're gonna sew on the wrong side and I'm gonna use the tail that I left earlier to sew and make sure to place your sleeve nice and even on both sides so I place the orange stitch marker there into the middle stitch on the sleeve and then right into the shoulder seam so that way it's gonna be nice and even on the front panel and the back panel alright and then we're gonna start sewing and then I'm gonna insert my needle into the uh, the stitch that we mark there same stitch marker and then remove the stitch marker and then I'm gonna insert my needle into the next stitch on the sleeve here and the next stitch on the main panel there and this is very difficult to see the normal stitches so be careful this yarn is very difficult to see just take your time so I insert into the next stitch here and the next stitch there and bring it up and you can use any method you prefer but just make sure don't sew too tight or too loose and make sure it's nice and even that's all important okay so I'm gonna keep sewing I'm gonna insert my needle into the next stitch here and the next stitch there and then bring it up and then repeat that insert the needle into the next stitch here and next stitch there bring it up and repeat that insert the needle into the next stitch here and then next stitch there bring it up okay I'm just gonna keep repeating this across and here's what it looks like on the wrong side here's the right side alright keep sewing until you reach the end and I will be back now I sew my sleeve until the end here and I also beat the end already and both side sew exactly the same and after you have your both sleeves sewn next we're gonna sew the sweater together make sure to place your sweater right side facing each other we're gonna sew on the wrong side and I already went ahead and sew one side here this is the wrong side okay and here is the sleeve and here is the right side it's very beautiful you can't even tell especially this kind of yarn alright I'm gonna show you how to sew on this side 
So I can turn this way first, so easier to show on camera and to sew as well. So you need to cut a new strand of yarn about 60 to 70 inches long. I'm going to use color A to sew the color A section here all the way up until I reach the armpit and then sew the sleeve a little bit on the color A section here. And then after that, I'm going to use the color B tail that we left earlier and then use that tail to sew up the color B section. So that way it's not show up on the outside okay I like this way anyways cut a new strand of yarn I already have my new yarn here new strand of yarn and then I can start sew from the bottom here and you can use any method you prefer so I gonna insert my needle into the first stitch here this corner and then into the first stitch there that corner right there and then bring it up Oops, and then insert into the next stitch here and the next stitch there. Bring it up. And the next stitch here and next stitch there. And then bring it up. Again, this is very difficult to see the normal stitches, so you just need to take your time, okay? And don't sew too tight or too loose. And I'm just gonna keep sewing. Insert into the next stitch here, next stitch there, and bring it up. And repeat that. Insert into the next stitch here, and the next stitch there and bring it up here's what it looks like so far I'm gonna keep sewing all the way up until I reach the armpit here and then after that I'm gonna sew a little bit of the sleeve at the color A section here and then when I reach the color B section I'm gonna use color B tail sew up all the way down to the end and then after that, I'm going to weave all my ends, alright, and I will be back. Okay, now after I have both sides sewn, and then I weave all my ends, and I also went ahead and turned the right side out already. So right now, this is the right side facing out, okay, very, very beautiful. I love it so much. Here's the side seam, beautiful. Here's the sleeve. Beautiful, I love it. And I hope you do too. Yay, congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this beautiful sweater dress. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrowaddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.